Hello and welcome to this CWP tutorial on web servers. In this video we're going to discuss the CWP functions for select web servers, web servers main configuration, web servers domain configuration, web servers template editor, and web servers config editor. When you're logged into your CWP admin dashboard you'll see on the left hand side in the sidebar a subtopic for web server settings and if you open that twirl down button you'll see we have the select web servers main configuration, domain configuration, template editor, and config editor. To select your web servers, click on Select Web Servers. CWP supports several web servers, including the most popular Apache and Nginx, and various configurations. It also supports Lightspeed and the Varnish HTTP Accelerator. You can choose whichever web server or configuration of web servers that best suits your needs. We recommend the Nginx, Varnish, and Apache configuration to give you the most options available. By default, this will enable Nginx and Apache for all domains, while Varnish you can enable additionally for domains that you need. And as you can see, as indicated by the performance bar on the right here, this configuration with PHP FPM offers the highest levels of performance of all the configurations. Since Nginx is in front of Apache, it'll handle many static files and reduce the load on Apache, allowing Apache to handle more traffic. Combining this configuration with PHP FPM7 and a WordPress cache plugin like W3 Total Cache is a great combo for websites with lots of frequent changes, like a web shop, for example. Alternatively, high traffic websites with fewer changes can handle 30 times more traffic at higher speeds by activating Varnish with the same combo. Please note that by default, Varnish is always disabled, but you can activate it for each domain with web server's domain configuration. So simply select the radio button for whichever configuration you want. Select your default Apache PHP FPM version as well as for Nginx. And if you wish, you can force Apache to use PHP FPM selector and simply save and rebuild your configurations. And once it's complete, you'll receive the confirmation dialog with all the details listed here. Next, let's take a look at Web Server's main configuration. You can use this to globally set your configurations server-wide. In the left sidebar under the Web Server settings, you'll find Web Server's main configuration. Just click on that. And here we can manage the default configurations for our web servers. So we can start with Nginx, the default vhost template type. And the default is to proxy to the next web server. Or we can select PHP FPM. A variety of vhost templates are offered, and we'll look momentarily at how we can create new ones or edit these. The Nginx default PHP FPM version, which we already selected on the previous screen, but here we can adjust that. And the Nginx default PHP FPM template. The varnish configuration we can choose. The Apache configuration for the default vhost template. The Apache default vhost template. The Apache default PHP FPM. And the default PHP FPM template. And we can choose our PHP FPM service configuration. And we can force Apache to use PHP FPM and rebuild all vhosts on save. Good idea to select this checkbox here before you click save to make sure that all your vhosts are rebuilt. And you receive the confirmation dialog at the top. Next, let's take a look at the web server's domain configuration under the same web servers tab. You'll use this to make custom configurations for specific domains only. Here we'll start by selecting a username. And we're provided a list of the domains and subdomains that are assigned to this user. So if we wish, we can select multiple domains to configure all at once using the custom config all selected button here. Or 
we can just simply click on the button for the domain that we want to configure or subdomain as the case may be. So here we're given the option to configure this subdomain and we'll choose the Nginx Varnish Apache PHP FPM so we have the most options available to us. And again, we can select our Nginx default vhost template type and our vhost template, our Varnish vhost template, our Apache vhost template type. And again, because we selected Apache PHP FPM here, that is selected for us. And our PHP FPM version, if we have multiple versions installed, which we do in this case. And again, we want to check mark this box to rebuild the web server's configuration for the domain on save. And we'll go ahead and save. And we'll see the confirmation dialog at the top. Next, let's take a look under the web server settings tab, the web server's template editor. From this page, we can view our vhost templates and edit and create new ones. So if we're looking for the Nginx templates, we'll click on the Nginx tab for Varnish, the Varnish tab. For Apache, they're under the HTTPD tab and PHP FPM templates as well. So let's take a look at the Apache templates here. And you'll notice that several of the files are locked for editing. However, we can view them just by clicking on the view file here and we can see the code for that. And if there are any templates here that we choose to edit, we can do so just by clicking on the edit button. And what that does is it opens the uh, create file tab here. So you'll see here's the list file. Here's all the list of files and the create file. So if we want to, we can create a file from scratch and just give it a file name, or we can start with an existing template and give it a new name, make our edits, and then save. And, and that will create a new file based on one of the original files. One important point to consider is don't edit existing template files as this will be overwritten on the next CWP update. So be sure to rename your edited templates. When creating new template files, it's important to remember to have both STPL and TPL files for each template that you create. This is for HTTP and HTTPS. Next, under the web servers tab, let's take a look at the configuration editor. On this page, you can view, edit, and create web servers configuration files. Again, for Nginx, Varnish, Apache, or PHP FPM. Just choose your file path and you can see the existing files that are already in place. And these you can edit or delete. And if you choose to edit you're given the option to create a file backup so that you don't lose your original. So that covers most of the basics about web servers in Control Web Panel, but there's lots more information to be found at our admin guide, our wiki, and our forum. So please feel free to check it out for more information. Hope you found this video useful. Thanks very much for watching.